Hello KM6LYW radio viewers. I want to talk a little bit more about the DigiPi today. That's that Raspberry Pi Zero you see down at the bottom of the, the screen here. It has a cool audio board on it and uh, a TFT display. And it's connected to this Yaesu uh, FT991 uh, amateur radio. And if you recognize the frequency, uh, we are in fact on the APRS network. Um, so this is all about digital modes and the DigiPi. It really implements a lot of cool di digital modes and you can hook it up to virtually any radio. Um, I just chose the 991 today, and I don't want to give a complete rundown or demonstration of how this works. See my other videos for that. Uh, this is really just a development update, and I'm asking you what you think is important. What else should go into this thing? Um, I'm currently working on version 1.4, and of course, if you're a KM6LYW patron, you get early access to all of this software. Uh, but just to get you thinking about this, um, this is currently an APRS uh, iGate and TNC. We're connected up to it with this uh, uh, mobile phone. It, you know, the phone isn't actually does, it doesn't even have service. Um, but you can send, you know, APRS network. You can send uh, email, SMS. Uh, you know, it's not just for like position tracking, right? So if I want to do, I don't know, the weather. Actually, I just did this one here. I just send the word weather to my virtual radio that's running APRSD in the cloud somewhere. And uh, virtual radio is listening for that weather command. And of course, uh, it responds. It's 91 degrees. And this will work anywhere in the world. Uh, anywhere in the world. That's, that's APRS. Anyways, I'm talking about APRS too much. That's just one of a bunch of features that this thing has. And so we're kind of looking for new stuff. Um, we can do APRS Digipeter, APRS I gate. We can do a Winlink gateway if you want to do email. We, um, that's totally possible. Uh, that's a, it's also a server. You know, it's not just a client uh, for for Winlink email. Um, there's an R dot modem for doing packet radio on uh, HF. So do Winlink over HF. And the stuff I've been working on more recently is Linux Node AX.25. So this can be a node like a like an old school radio BBS. You know, you can have a network of nodes and, and connect them. In fact, uh, why don't I just put it in the node mode right now? I'll press the on button there. I'll get rid of this cell phone. I don't think we need it. It's not really a cell phone. It's a Wi-Fi device. This thing will bring up its own Wi-Fi network. You know, if it's if you're not at home, so it works in the field. Uh, the node's coming online right now, as you can see. It says AX.25 node, and uh, and the system status here should switch over to say Linux node active. And I added some buttons down here too. There's like, well, the refresh button, you know, in case this gets stalled out. Um, there's this log thing, which is pretty cool. Um, if you want to see the Dire Wolf log, Dire Wolf is really the sound modem in TNC that's driving all of this stuff. So you can actually use your web browser on your phone or your PC to say the Dire Wolf log happening right now. Uh, it is a node mode, I'm noticing, so I need to get over on a node frequency. Let's get off of APRS at 145730. Um, not a lot of traffic there. So that's cool. We got the log file in a web browser. That's a new feature. Um, AX call. This is like uh, if you want to dial up another radio. Like, for example, uh, maybe I want to go to, there's a Digipeter out here. On, it's easy to reach. It's called MTVNOD for Mount Vaca Node. Um, I can just type in that and say connect. Again, these are new features if you're into Node stuff. This, is, this way you don't have to use PuTTY or SSH or any of that. Uh, complicated stuff. All of this stuff will, will run in a web browser. So it is uh, connecting uh, to MTV NOD on 145.730. Hopefully I got enough power there. Yeah, 15 watts should be enough. And yeah, it's connected, you know. So I'm, I've got this old school BBS type of interface, you know, I can type help. And this is all happening in a web browser that could be on your PC or phone. Uh, so this is all new stuff. Um, you know, if I want to, I don't know, I wanted to do a long listing of nodes that this thing's heard recently. This one doesn't really have a BBS on it. It really is just a DigiPeter. I just thought I'd demonstrate it. So again, this is the DigiPi connecting using the AX call command, using the AX.25 networking that's built into the DigiPi. And uh, I'm, I'm just gonna say bye here. We can close this out. So we got AX call working in a web browser. That's a new feature for 1.4, if you guys are into that. I can close this. Um, of course, you know, when you first get it, uh, it won't be on your Wi-Fi network, of course, um, but it does become a Wi-Fi hotspot, uh, so you can connect your phone to it. It's called DigiPi. That's what, that's what the SSID will be, and then if you go to uh, the secret IP address, is 10.0.0.5, um, you'll get this, the home page, and then, uh, of course, you can go to Wi-Fi set up and enter your own uh, SSID stuff and your 
password here and then the digipi you know you can submit it and it'll come up on your network after a reboot so the, the wi-fi stuff was kind of new as well um so what else what else should we do you know i got reboot written shutdown buttons here you don't really need to do this stuff uh, because it's a read-only file system so it's more like a firmware um, but I added these buttons if you wanted to reboot or shut down. You know, if there's more services that you want to see, maybe there's a better layout for this web page. I, I kind of set it up for a mobile device. You'll notice it's kind of tall, uh, very vertical, so it, it you know it works on your phone pretty well. In fact, uh, my phone's on the network here. I'll see what it, I kind kind of curious what it sees like on, what it looks like on my phone. So once it's on your Wi-Fi network, it'll just come up as a thing called Digipi. I'm typing on my phone. I know you guys can't see it. Digipi, I can't type it. And if you put a backslash behind it, that means go to that host. So this is what it looks like on your cell phone. So if you're in the field and you want to operate this thing, um, you know, you, you can do it like this on your phone. It, you know, it works exactly the same way. Um, so, oops, bonked you guys. So the web browser works exactly the same, or at least it should. Get it. Um, and you know, I haven't actually looked at the log stuff. I haven't really tested this on the phone. You guys are seeing development happening in in progress here. Let's see what the log file looks like. Yep, <laughs> we can actually see the dire wolf log um, using our cell phone. Um, if I put it back over the APRS frequency, you'll get the, we'll see a lot more traffic. We're currently in node mode. Um, yeah, there's the traffic. Anyways, that is the log working on a cell phone. That's cool. I never, I never actually tried it here. Of course, we can do AX call here. That has a little wrapping issue there. <laughs> Anyways, you just saw all this stuff. We don't need to do that. All right, so this is the DigiPi version 1.4 uh, coming to life, uh, slow but sure. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know what else you would like to see, you know, or maybe some of this stuff is just, is this, maybe this is too much, you know, maybe we should unload something or maybe we should make a light version. That's all I was thinking about just making a simple light version that's bulletproof or people wouldn't have a lot of questions. All right, this is KM6LYW Radio working on DigiPi version 1.4. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, let's, we can talk in the comments here. But we also have a website on uh, groups.io. Um, this is where a lot of the feverish discussions are happening. Well, they're not feverish. They're discussions that were happening happening about the DigiPi here on groups.io. Uh, uh, thank you guys for putting this together and uh, for, for all the contributors here. Um, this is really the best place to do development and feedback. All right, guys, KM6LYW, I'm clear.